offering is the truth. Nothing more. Ambition leads me not only farther than any other man has been before me, but as far as I think it's possible for man to go. Now join me on this awesome journey with one of the greatest explorers, the first man to circumnavigate the earth, the first man to find the Antarctic Circle, James Cook. Captain James Cook was a British explorer, navigator, cartographer, and captain of the Royal Navy. He was born on November 7th, 1728, and died on February 4th, 1779. During his three voyages in the late 18th century, Captain James Cook charted areas of the Pacific previously unknown to Europeans. The legacy of the voyages remains a highly controversial topic in many parts of the world. His expeditions took him to South America, Tahiti, New Zealand, Australia, Antarctica, Canada, Alaska, and many other places around the world between 1768 and 1779 and each voyage had ambitious aims at world-changing consequences. Cook's first voyage was to search the new land in the Pacific and observe the transit of Venus. His second voyage was to search for the mythical great southern continent known as Antarctica. But instead, it was on this voyage that Cook's ships became the first to cross the Antarctic Circle. And his third and final voyage was to search for a sea passage in the North Atlantic. During the third voyage, however, Cook was sadly killed in Hawaii. And the impact of these voyages continues to be felt today. 250 years later, Cook's voyages remain a source of controversy the debate over them continues. Now as Captain Cook stated in his voyage logs, it took him three years to make the first voyage, three years to make his second voyage, and three years to make his third and final voyage. Now you have to keep in mind that Cook was a cartographer for the Queen so he was actually mapping out the world as he was making these voyages. Now let's have a look at Cook's journey on a globe. So as you can see, these routes make absolutely no sense on a globe Earth. But, as you can see here, once we turn the globe Earth into the flat Earth, the routes make perfect sense. Now what I've done is I've traced a rough outline of Captain Cook's famous second voyage. Okay, the voyage started in Great Britain with the color bright red. The voyage started in July of 1772 until July of 1775. That's three years. He traveled near the outer edge for a good length of his journey. He would have had plenty of time to study how the outer edge looked with great detail. Okay, now after months and months of research, I was only able to find a copy of his second voyage in the library of the University of Michigan. Okay, now what you have to understand is this voyage was solely set on finding the continent of Antarctica. 
As you can see here in chapter 2, departure from the Cape of Good Hope in search of a southern continent. Now I'm going to let you read this part of the journal for yourself. Now, as you just read, the captain said he could never penetrate the ice barrier to find the southern continent of Antarctica, because Antarctica is the ice wall around the world. Now I'm going to leave you with a music video of Captain James Cook's journey to the edge of the world. Written and performed by a fantastic artist named David J. Karen. Thanks for watching and God bless. She away from our gate With the voyage at sea destiny I have date for eight pieces of silver I boarded my fate